Hello, I'm Liam, and we are playing Four Against Darkness. I took a vote, uh, one to three stay, four to six leave, and it was unanimous. Um, so we're taking one last run at the Sneering Sewers. We're in fine shape. Um, Blesk has a couple of spells left, number of scrolls. Uh, the most damage we've taken is three, so... And we have plenty of heals left and healing potions and whatnot. I did give the dagger plus two to Blesk. Daggers are normally minus one attack. It's a plus two dagger, so it's actually plus one overall, which brings her attack to an impressive plus six, plus seven against orcs with that dagger. So we are here at the entrance, um, and we're going to see what treasure we can find on the eastern side of this map, uh, and maybe level somebody up. Um, Jim and Throck are still level 4. Blesk and Elric are level 5. We are so close to the abyss. Um, uh, so, yeah. Let's see what is in store for us over here. So, heading northeast, we got a 2. 2. Um, that is a room. A square room. With a couple of doors, so I think we'll just uh, have it go up one here, three over three. I'll make it like this so it fits better. Put a door here and a door here. Check on whether these doors are locked. The north door is not locked. The east door is not locked. So I'm going to color those in so I remember. Okay. And this is now room 11. And, oh, I'm pretty sure Throck has had to take off those uncomfortable... I'm going to write that down. Uncomfortable <laughs> magic metal shoes. You can wear them again the next adventure. <laughs> but uh, that's it for them for now. So we are now in room 11. And what, pray tell, awaits us? Here, we'll find the chart. Where's the chart? Here's the chart, page 83. And let's show that. There we go. 83, what do we got? 2d6, it's an 8. We've got a minion. Uh, roll d6 minions table. That brings our minion count to 5. Um, the minions table for fiendish foes. It's hoping for some unicorn hairs. None so far. We've got instead possessed dwarves. <laughs> D6 plus three. So that's seven possessed dwarves. <laughs> uh, seven possessed dwarves. What do we got? Level five undead. Level five. Normal treasure, these scythe-wielding, demon-possessed dwarves are hard to kill. If killed, roll a d6. On a three or more, the dwarf will attack again on its next turn. After this, it stays dead. Um, they, they will not fool the reactions. Bribe, fight, fight to death. Eh, we want to fight them, I think. I don't want to bribe them. Fight to death. Yeah, there's no, no use rolling on that reaction table. Um, reaction tables are optional in, uh, in Four Against Darkness. So, how many do we have? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We go first. Throck with his two-handed masterwork hammer. We have not raged yet, right? Mm, two. I'm not going to use it yet. Uh, two plus five is seven. That does hit one. He takes one out. He had to take off those awesome shoes so it doesn't get his kick attack. Uh, Elric, four plus an attack of two is... Oh, plus they're undead, so he gets plus five. So four is nine. So he hits and kills one. Blesk uh, with her two-handed... Or her dagger plus two explodes. Six, nine... Plus six is 15. <laughs> she just took out three possessed dwarves <laughs> with her um, 
dagger plus two. Uh, she's got these crazy, she's done this before. She's got some kind of crazy whirling multi-attack she pulls off every once in a while. Jim with his um, uh, enchanted sword rolls two. He gets a four plus his attack of five is nine. So that takes out another one. Um, I believe we do a morale roll for possessed dwarves. Uh, it's a five. So our single lone possessed dwarf uh, stays in the fight. Um, which makes sense for a possessed dwarf. He attacks Jim. Uh, Jim rolls a four plus his defense of two is six. So he defends. And now Throck misses. Um, Elric misses. <laughs> Blesk explodes again. And again, 12. <laughs> I don't have to roll all this, but I just want to see what she gets. 21. She kills this thing four times over. She just hacks the possessed dwarves. She's got something against possessed dwarves, I guess. Um, so that's it <laughs> for the possessed dwarves. We get, what do we get? Normal treasure. <clears throat> so where's our normal treasure table? D6, 1, 2D6 times 2 gold pieces. We get a 9, 18 gold. Okay. 18 gold pieces. Okay. That's that. Um, let's head north, shall we? So, we open the door to the north, and behind it we see 1, 3. We've got this crazy switchback kind of thing going on. That's going to wind its way. So we go up four. One, two, three, four. Over three. One, two, three. And then down. Three at the most. One, two. We're going to make this fit. So I'm just going to do this. And it's going to come up like that. Uh, ends in a door, and it's got another door, which I'm going to put, I'm going to actually put, like, down here, so it'll connect with whatever's going on down here. Let's see what, uh, the north door is not locked, the south door is not locked. I'm going to color those in. We will call this Corridor 12, and... In Corridor 12, we have, what, 6, 11, a boss. Uh, yeah, boss. Okay, fiendish foes. I run into more bosses in corridors than you might think. Um, okay, what do we have? Well, this is good. We'll get an XP roll if we defeat this thing. What is it? Se another young red dragon. Oh, boy. Okay. Young. We've done okay. We've defeated two of these so far in our journeys. Young Red Dragon, level 9, 8 life. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It will have a breath attack on its first attack, but we get to um, we get to take it on first. Uh, let's see. We're in a corridor. Ranged attacks, so Jim is not going to have a good time here because he's got minus one on his ranged attacks. Um, does that count for spells? I don't think so. I haven't been doing it for spells. I hope not. I'm going to say no. Because um, uh, Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Throck, here we go. Five, that explodes. That's his two-handed masterwork hammer. Five plus three is eight. Plus his attack is 13. He does one point of damage to the young red dragon. Elric with his uh, one-handed silver hammer <laughs> fails to hit it. Um, should we look up where their spells? Uh, that is in... I'm going to just rule it. It doesn't affect spells. Uh, Blesk is going to use her lightning bolt. It's a normal attack on this young red dragon. So... Oh, shit, that's a fail. Even with her um, level is five, that'd be a six. That's not a hit. So she spends her last lightning bolt <clears throat> and misses. Okay. Now, Jim. 
Uh, with a minus one on this roll, it's a two, plus his attack is five, seven, not enough. And now the young red dragon breathes fire on us. Everybody uh, makes a save versus level seven dragon breath, adding half their level. So Throck, two, not enough. He takes uh, D3 damage. Three points of damage. Uh-oh. Are we getting overconfident here? Three points of damage. Elric saves two plus two is four. Not enough. So he takes D3 damage. Oh boy. Did I even did I do this right on the last dragon? Because this is painful. One, two, three. Okay. Uh Blesk four plus half her level is six. That's not enough. So she takes one point of damage. That's better. Jim, two plus half as low as two is four. That's not enough. So how much damage? One point of damage. Okay. So Throck and Elric took the brunt of that, which makes sense because they're in the front. And now um, I think we'll have Elric use a heal spell on himself, but let's go in order. Throck. Here we go, Throck. Masterwork Hammer, three plus five is eight. Not enough. He doesn't hit it. He doesn't do any damage to it anyway. This is not good. Elric's going to use a heal spell um, on himself. He's doing the worst here. So he does D6 plus his level. His level is five. So he's going to do at least six. I don't even need to roll it. Um, Elric is completely healed. Excellent. And we'll mark off. He's got one healing spell left. Everybody's got a healing potion left. I don't remember what those actually do. Uh, so that was Elric Blesk. Um, we're out of lightning bolts. She's got, uh, well, she's got protect scrolls. Hmm, and we're in a corridor. I might burn those protect scrolls to add a point of defense. Um, otherwise, she would attack with her bow. Uh, and that would be that. She has a sleep spell, but you can't put dragons to sleep. Let's use the protect spell. Just going to verify. <sighs> Was it 48? Where are the spells? Nope. 62? I'm guessing. You're looking at me trying to remember. That's where the traps are. Where's the spells? Spells 49. <laughs> I'm going to write this down someday, you guys. Uh, protect. This spell gives plus one to a single character's defense rolls for the whole duration of a battle. Who who needs defense the most? We're going to... Blesk is going to use a... Um, a plus one defense. Now I just have to remember this. She's going to use a scroll of protect on Throck. Okay, because he's in the front. We're going to mark off one of these scrolls. They're here to be used, so maybe we'll use another one. I wonder if they stack. I bet they do not. Okay, that was Blesk Jim with his bow. It's a minus one because of the fog. Four, three, plus five is eight. Not enough. He misses the dragon. Now it's the dragon's attack. I believe it gets two attacks. Yep, two attacks. And what we decided is um, those should apply. Those should attack one person. So, uh, so let's, let's. Well, I rolled a two. One to two. It's uh, Throck. So he attacks Throck. Two attacks. Anything else special we need to know there? I don't think so. So let's see. Throck needs to defend twice. Ooh, one, that's a failure. Two plus two, not enough. So he uh, he takes two points of damage. That hurts. Throck is not doing great here all of a sudden. Um, and now it's our turn. Throck. Let's rage, Throck. It's time to do it. So he's got a five. That explodes. 
9 plus uh, 5 attack is 14. So he does one point of damage to the dragon. Uh, Elric is going to heal. Use his last heal on Throck. So D6. 6. Does that explode? doesn't need to. 6 plus his level of 5 is 11. So that heals Throck completely. So that's good. Our front line is totally healed. Okay. Um. Now, Blesk. Should she use a Protect? Elric already has plus four, but we're going to do it. She's going to cast another. Um, she's going to use the second Protect Scroll on Elric. So he's up to plus four defense, which is great. And I'm going to mark that off. She's used all of those protect scrolls. And now we're on to Jim. Jim with his bow from the back. Five. Minus one is four. Plus five is nine. He hits it. He hits the dragon with his bow, with his arrow, <laughs> from his bow. Okay. We're making the, this is rough, but um, we're doing okay. Uh, can't go on like this for much longer though. So, uh, who, who does, who does the dragon attack? Attacks Elric. Elric rolls a five plus four defense is nine. He defends against the first attack, but he fails the second one. So he takes a point, one point of damage. Okay. Um, that was the dragon. Throck. Here we go, Throck. We need a heavy hit. Two. <laughs> Seven. That's a miss. Elric. Five. Plus an attack of two is seven. Not enough. Okay, Blesk. Um, she's out of special stuff to do, so we're down to just her bow. <laughs> she could throw the humming bean and turn this into a uh, room. <laughs> I don't know what good that would do, but... Uh, four, um, plus her attack of six is ten. No, 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 that's her dagger. Her bow. Oh, shoot. Let's see. Attack is plus her level is five, so that's a four, it's a nine, but minus one because of the fog, so she misses. Jim, with his bow, also misses. The dragon attacks Throck. Um, Throck defends fails one defense oh and makes the second defense so throck takes one point of damage okay throck <clears throat> here we go four plus attack of five is nine that's a hit so throck does another point if we can get do one more point of damage to this dragon it'll drop a level and do a morale check i believe um, so Elric, it's got to explode if he wants to hit. Four plus two is six. That's not that's not going to do it. Blesk with her bow. That fails. And Jim, five. Minus one is four. Plus five is nine. Yeah, he hits. Okay. The dragon drops to level eight. And I've been doing morale rolls for this. And that's a, does it have a plus to morale? As it's first attempt to breathe fire, I'll say, um, I'm going to just look at the rules real quick and make sure that morale, here's morale procedure. When minions or a boss loses more than half its health, yep, so it flees, right? Because I just rolled a three. Young, dra young red dragon. We haven't killed one outright yet. We've caused all three to flee. So we get an XP roll and we get a bunch of treasure. Young dragons have four treasure rolls at plus one. Okay. Who should we level up? Throck or Jim? Uh, um, Jim has ten health. Let's level up. Let's try to, let's try to level up Jim. He's got to roll a five or better. Um, I'm, I'm changing my mind. We're going to try to level up Throck. Because if he fails, <laughs> I want a chance to level him up. Uh, I'm torn. Who do we level up? I'm just going to roll. 
one to two it's Throck, three to four it's Jim. We're trying to level up Jim. He needs a five or better, and he gets it. Look at that Throck. See all the, <laughs> every one of these other guys. Uh, well, I guess Elric took two tries, but there's Jim. Jim just leveled up. Jim. Jim the warrior. Good job, Jim. Okay. What does that do for us? For Jim. Jim goes to level five. That means um, the abyss is definitely within our reach. Uh, at, at worst, we'll pay 250 gold. Or was it 500? I don't remember. We'll get Throck to five and we'll head to the abyss next time. But that gives us um, attack plus level. Why do I have plus five? Oh, his sword is plus one attack. Plus his level is six. So he now has plus six on his attack with advantage um, because of that magic sword. And his life goes up to 11. I believe that's it. For Jim, we will add a bubble here, and okay, that's Jim leveled up. Let's do some treasure. Roll four of these. We've got two. It's plus one, so we got two twos, a three, and a six. Nice. Finish foes. Treasure table. So the twos are 2d6 times 5. Two. <laughs> Come on. Six. Eight times 5 is 40 gold pieces. Uh, level 4 is a... Or, um, treasure 4 is a gem worth 2d6 times 10. That's 10. That's a 100 gold piece gem. That's better. 100 gold piece gem and one magic item from the fiendish foes magic treasure table. What do we have? Five. Enchanted paint. <laughs> okay. Whatever is painted becomes real. Wow. If you draw a door on a wall, an actual door will appear. You can then roll for a room as normal or connect to existing rooms. You can also draw normal weapons, armor, or equipment and they will become real. The item drawn must be non-magical and no more than 15 gold pieces in value. Liquids cannot be drawn. Each time the paint is used, roll a d6. On a 1, it runs out. Okay, I have no idea what to do with that right now, so we're just going to mark it down. Enchanted paint from Fiendish Foes, page 9. These defense bonuses for Throck and Elric have worn off. And now, um, how are we doing? 23 minutes. That's 12 rooms. Um, there's an unexplored area up here, and there's probably just a connection down here. Um, 12. Let's do... Uh, we're out of heals. Um, let's see what's here. And then we'll leave this northeast area unexplored, I think. So, uh, I hate to do that, but... Um, it is what it is. So let's see. We're going to roll to the south. We have four, four. It's a weird shaped kind of room with doors right where we need them, actually. So this comes down by two, like this. Uh, and then it's like a hallway. We're just going to connect it like this. Boop. It's got a weird little alcove over here, maybe. I don't know. We'll call it like that. Close enough. That's room 13. And what do we have in lucky room 13? Go to our flow chart, which is somewhere. Here it is. Six. Room vermin. Oh, this is our last chance for unicorn hairs. We get a one or a two. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, that didn't count because it fell out. Let's try again. No, six. Okay, vermin, uh, fiendish foes, vermin table, 
six goat men. Um, let's see. We're up to our minion count is up to six. We have encountered two plus one. Oh, two d three. It's two, three, four goat men. Four goat men. Uh, normal treasure morale plus two. Level six. One, two, three, four. Okay. Here we go. Room 13. Throck. Two plus five is seven. That hits. He takes out one goat man. Elric uh, with his hammer. Four plus two is six. That takes out a goat man. Blesk with her dagger. Two plus six, eight. That takes out a goat man. Um, morale check. They ate a plus two morale. That's not enough. This last one, please. These crazy people come running into the room, kill three of his friends, and he's like, I, I'm out of here. That's, en that's enough. Uh, normal treasure. Uh, where's our normal treasure? Normal Phoenix Pose treasure. Roll 1d6. That's a 2. We get 2d6 times 5 gold pieces. 315 gold pieces. Kind of an anticlimactic finish, but... Uh, I think we're close to the edge here, and I think we should just um, call it. We've got a decent amount of treasure. Uh, let's see if we run into anybody on the way out. No wandering monsters in room 11. No wandering monsters at the entrance, and that is that. Okay. I have a bunch of adding up to do. We have three level five characters and a level four. Um, so we'll pay a level, train Throck up to level five. I'll do um, some accounting. And uh, the next time we play, we will be off to the abyss. I'm very excited. Okay. Um, we'll play again soon. Until then, friends, keep your lanterns lit and your heart's warm. Thanks for watching.